Hello everybody and welcome to, welcome back to my channel. My name is Imi. How are you today? I hope you're good. I hope you're doing well. Today's video is going to be another sustainability related video. So I think about a year ago I did one of these. I will have it linked above here so you can click on that and watch it first or you can watch it after this video and I'll have a link down below. And it got really good feedback but I didn't know exactly what I was talking about. I was kind of just learning as I go and don't get me wrong I still don't know what I'm talking about and I'm still just learning as I go but I have done a little more research into amber bottles and just as I was about to purchase some again for myself a lovely girl called Stephanie who owns the brand Koishi I think I'm pronouncing that right I'm so sorry if I'm not but I will have it here <laughs> and I'll have it linked down below as well so you can go check out the website she reached out to me she is a home and lifestyle company and they focus on reducing waste in the household and promoting more sustainable materials. I was lucky enough to pick out some beautiful products from her website and I'm very, very excited and I'm gonna talk you through what I got but also some tips and hacks that I have learned over the years, some recipes to make a more sustainable home. So the first things I'm gonna show you are these big pump bottles that are so beautiful. They are empty right now though because they do say shampoo and conditioner and currently I'm using shampoo and conditioner bars. However, I'm running out and I know I'm going to end up buying whatever I can get my hands on and that's probably going to be from my local supermarket and I'm going to put them in these because they are stunning. I'm not going to lie, I just love the effect of amber bottles. I think they're gorgeous. But I have also learned that there are some benefits to amber bottles that I didn't know about previously. The reason you see alcohol and other pharmaceutical products in amber bottles is because they block out UV light and blue light. Often if you have like essential oils and things in them, which I use all the time, it can, basically the light can affect it and change how it smells, change the composition, all those things. It happens with a lot of chemicals that you could be putting in these bottles or in normal glass bottles, so you're better off putting them in amber rather. So yeah. That is the purpose for them. I've learned a little bit more. If there is anything else that I should know about them, let me know in the comments down below because I'm always open to learning new things. And yeah, how cute are these? These are, I think they are th a thousand mil. Yeah. Then I went and grabbed a smaller version and this I put hand sanitizer in because I would say during this time, I am getting through some hand sanitizer. We are very fortunate to have it. Um, if you don't know, my boyfriend works at a store and he was able to get some at the start of all this. So we've had this on our entranceway. So every time we leave, every time we come back in, just then picking up parcels, th nothing is coming into this house. Well, <laughs> I'm trying to keep us safe, you know, and this is just so cute. And, and again, I know it's not about the aesthetics, but I am someone who is a lot happier when things are pretty and I've kept spending so much time in this environment that it matters to me. I hated looking at the ugly hand sanitizer bottle. It was gross. This, I feel very happy looking at this. This is positive vibes. Also, they're just so nice. I love glass bottles over the plastic. They just feel so damn good. So good. And now I'm onto my last product that I picked up and this is a spray bottle. These spray bottles are a godsend. I use these for everything. I use them for misting plants. I use them for hair products. I use them for cleaning. They clean everything. I literally have one of these in my bathroom, one of these in my kitchen. Like I love spray bottles. And now this is my third one. This is what I was gonna order more of. And these keep my cleaners in them. So my bathroom one says bathroom cleaner and my other one says multi-purpose cleaner or general household cleaner. And I'm gonna show you how to make that today. I'm gonna to go through the recipe and what I do to make my purpose cleaner. So that is everything that I got from Kreishi. Thank you again so much to Stephanie for sending me all those things. I will have them linked down below. And also you should definitely check out their Instagram because it is so beautiful. Like whenever I look at people's Instagrams and they're so nice, I realize how bad my Instagram game is. I haven't got the dedication for it. I've got the personality for YouTube haven't got the dedication or the face for Instagram. Yeah, thank you again and definitely go check them out. I'll have them linked down below. Next, I'm gonna show you a few more products I've picked up over the past couple of months that are sustainable items, starting with reusable cotton swabs. You know, your ear swabs, reusable ones of those. Now these probably aren't the most damaging things if you're buying the paper version. If you're buying the plastic ones, obviously it's a lot more damaging, but we used to buy the paper ones anyway. But when it came to, I think it was February, because yeah, I got these for me and Joe for Valentine's Day. 
I am the biggest loser in the world. I know when I told people I was getting us like reusable cotton swabs, they were like, for Valentine's Day? Really? But it's something that I wouldn't usually spend money on. It's like a treat in a way. I'm just gonna show you. So I picked these up. They are from a company called Last Swab. They come in these little cases. Mine is this peachy pink one and Joe's is this sage green one. Um, they come like this. We keep them just in our bathroom and use them after a shower or whatever. And they're great. You just literally rinse them off. Like they're so easy to use. They don't, they're not gross. They're not dirty or anything that you think. They're actually in really good nick. So I'm highly impressed by that. And trust me, I use mine all the time. I love them. I would definitely recommend them. We also have like makeup ones. So they're like pointed instead of being like the little bumps on them. <laughs> And the other thing that I've picked up recently is a mop. Now, I have, I have no idea how I've lived here for a year and a half without a mop. Actually, I do. I was on my hands and knees, literally, like, scrubbing my floor. But I decided now to get a mop because I was looking for a smaller one. I don't like the big ones that lug loads of water around. I wanted, like, a cloth one that had a smaller base because I only live in a small flat and we only have our kitchen and our two tiny bathrooms. So we didn't need a big mop. So I invested in the e-cloth mop now i've had a few e-cloths from them i have their mirror ones and their stainless steel ones and i love them so much i didn't i didn't know how much i needed them in my life until now and this is what the mop looks like i actually had it in my basket on amazon for the longest time but i was looking for a, a prettier one i'm not gonna lie i don't really like blue not a big blue person but this is what it looks like it's extendable you can just kind of like i think you twist it one way or i'm quite sure i don't really need to do that this head bit also twists off and it's velcro and you have your mop head i used this yesterday so it's still a bit damp and um dirty but this is what it looks like you just simply velcro it on get it wet mop your floors rip this off stick it in your wash or whatever you want to do and that's basically it it is amazing i love it I hate mopping and vacuuming and everything and I actually enjoy mopping with this so definitely worth it and it wasn't even that expensive and like I said you don't have to replace these I think it's probably good to have a spare one just in case like I might buy another one and just alternate them but for us right now just the two of us living here this is perfect I love it so much in fact that I bought my dad the bigger one because he's got a, you know a normal big house so I actually bought him the bigger version and he likes it too so yeah definitely gold star from me apparently i'm giving out gold stars now so a few of the recipes that i wanted to go over include a multi-purpose cleaner this is what i always put in my spray bottles a produce wash because i realized that everybody now is taking up washing their fruit and vegetables this is something you should do anyway honestly i get that it's we're in a worrying time but if you are not buying locally sourced or you don't know what's on it, you're not growing it yourself, you probably should wash it off. I'm pretty lazy and I do struggle to do this, I won't lie. Sometimes I just put my apple under cold water and hope that it cleans it. I know it doesn't. So I came up with a produce wash that definitely makes me clean them a lot better. And when you can see the dirt that comes off of it, it will just turn your stomach and you will never be able to look at produce the same way. And then finally a hack it's more like a, a recipe i suppose for vegetable stock that i have been doing this for the longest time and it has not only saved me money but i don't have a compost or a garden here so it makes me feel better about the amount of waste i'm producing so for your all-purpose spray all you will need is two teaspoons of baking soda four tablespoons of white vinegar water and essential oils of your choice this is just for smell i mix it up all the time i used to just go for lavender but obviously during seasonal times i might do cinnamon or nutmeg or anything like that and orange and things i actually do need to buy some new essential oils because mine are running out but that is it you simply put it in the spray bottle and it is ready to go for your produce wash what you're going to need is half a cup of apple cider vinegar half a cup of lemon juice half a cup of water and two teaspoons of baking soda. And we said tablespoons, that would definitely be too much. Just put that in your, maybe your usual sink or whatever you do, put all your produce in there, leave it to soak, and you will see what comes off of it. Rinse it out, dry it off, whatever you like to do with your produce. If you prepare it then or whatever, if you freeze it, whatever you do, but make sure you're washing it first. And this is such an easy way and with pretty standard household items. 
Then for my vegetable stock, like I said, this is something I've done for ages. Whenever I make meal, whenever I'm cutting up fruit or veg or anything, all the offcuts that are not really gross. So for like onions, I don't take the skin, obviously. I just maybe keep like the head and the end, the bit that actually has onion on it. Stick it in a jar, a big mason jar, and I keep that in my freezer. I take it out every time I cook. And then maybe once every two weeks or once a month when they're full, I will put everything into a big pot with a lot of boiling water and you can season this however you want if you want to add peppercorns if you want to add some sugar if you want to add uh, maybe some basil or bay leaves or something like that whatever you want to add to it and i just keep that on a really low simmer for probably about three hours honestly if you have a slow cooker that would be perfect i don't have a slow cooker i need to get one for next winter but i just don't have the space to keep it here um, but yeah, just keep it on a low simmer. Sometimes I'll maybe boil it for like half an hour and then just let it simmer for an hour, whatever you're doing and what you have the patience for. And then I strain it. You can use a cheesecloth or you can just use a normal sieve um, and do that into a big jug. And then I discount it into the jars of my choice, which I then keep either in the fridge or in the freezer. Again, I have quite a lot of little ones that I like. Those are my favorite. And all you need to do is just pop them in some boiling water 10 20 minutes before you want to use it and it will perfectly melt it's amazing they're so much more flavorful than stock cubes and again you're not spending money on them so it's a win-win in my books so those are a few of the products and hacks that i want to talk about today if you are interested in a more detailed version of this video or more specified to certain areas of your home then definitely let me know i have done a few of these i have a beauty one and i've had my one from last year i will link them all down below you will see them i do have a sustainability playlist so i will also link that again thank you to Kreeshi for working with me on this video i absolutely adore these products and you should definitely check them out i highly recommend them they're so pretty Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like down below and also subscribe if you haven't done so yet because it means the absolute world to me. I love you all so much and I will see you next time. Bye.